What's up guys, this is the second episode of Hollywood World, bringing you stuff going on in the world of Hollywood. And today we'll be starting off with rumors or actual confirmation of movies. And we'll be talking about a great movie that I hope I really really love the series of, Guardians of the Galaxy. And this one will be a Guardians of the Galaxy 3. The first rumor is that Zac Efron is rumored to play Adam Warlock. That's right, High School Musical is going to play the great Adam Warlock. The second guy to wield the Infinity Gauntlet after Thanos himself. Also, Rocket Raccoon's alleged creator is the one and only High Evolutionary. A mad super intelligent creator mastering in things technological and scientific. Similar to that of the supreme intelligence of the Korean homeworld. Even though... It was a living brain, not shown in the actual movie, but in the comics itself. So that's going to be awesome. And another thing happening to Rocket is that his alleged lover, Lila, a sentient otter, is going to be there where Rocket will get some love, especially with that Groot is still a teenager after all five years. And not only will uh, love, love is also in the air, not only for Rocket, but also for Drax, as he's going to find out that his daughter is still alive. Sadly, with uh, everything, uh, with everybody finding happiness, is this the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy? Due to most of the original members appearing in the post credit scenes of Volume 2, and uh, due to the fact that Peter discovers that Gamora is alive, not well, Gamora is dead, but her 2014 version is in the present and has mysteriously disappeared after the events of Endgame. And because of that, Nebula and Peter are going to have a little bonding session. And uh, since Nebula is joining the team, another person supposed to join the team, the one and only Thor Odinson, which will uh, make the Volume 3 movie hopefully called As Guardians of the Galaxy. And uh, there are also more characters set to join, such as Better Ray Bill, uh, champion of Sakaar, which was an Easter egg in Thor Ragnarok. He was the original wielder of Stormbreaker, at least in the comics. Maybe he'll take it back in this movie. And a Kozar, a wielder of quantum energy, and uh, able to tap into the quantum realm. Uh, he's known as a superhero person. In the Marvel comics, I can't wait to see what a role he'll play. Also, uh, there were talks of Nova supposedly appearing in Infinity War, uh, since uh, his other replacement was the Nova Corps, but since that was destroyed, they were thinking of putting him in, but uh, they said that's James Gunn's uh, idea. He has to do it. He ha so... Hopefully James Gunn will finally put Nova on the third movie, since he had some connections with them in the comics. Uh, but sadly, James Gunn uh, s said that this movie is very emotional due to many people supposedly finding their loved ones. And uh, we'll see what happens as the release date, the release date along with the rest of Phase 4, won't be revealed until uh, after Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, hopefully at San Diego Comic-Con, which is cool. Speaking of Marvel, in Endgame, uh, when Cap has to return all the stones, one question remained. When he had to return the Soul Stone, he will have to run into his old buddy, the Red Skull, who was stuck at Vormir uh, because of uh, Cap's fight in a uh, plane uh, when he got swallowed by the Tesseract. Uh, the directors of Endgame confirmed this, but they now reveal what happened next. 
Hopefully this will be revealed in uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. A Disney Plus show. Speaking of Disney, a new Star Wars film in 2022 uh, will be written by none other than the Game of Thrones writers. You're probably wondering, a rated R Star Wars film? Just like what's happening with Quentin Tarantino's untitled rated R Star Trek film? Looks like everything's turning rated R nowadays. Ask Deadpool. Now some good news. A Mortal Kombat reboot is uh, happening with James Wan, director of Saw, Aquaman, and The Conjuring uh, behind this. Due to The Conjuring and Saw being rated R horror thrillers. And Mortal Kombat filling the rated R theme. He will have a good time directing this. And, uh, oh, and the main vampire of Twilight is going to play the Batman in his younger years. And on um, 2021. Sorry, Affleck. Well, before we end the podcast, just one last announcement that this is not a rumor. Repeat, this is not a rumor. Rick and Morty Season 4 is set to return in November 2019. Finally. After two years, one of the greatest shows will finally return. 2019 is definitely one of the best years in Hollywood. See you guys later from Hollywood World.